What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another video for you. And this is going to be a bit of a rant video, because um, today we're going to be talking about AMD B550 X570 USB issue. Something that I didn't even know about, and it's something that has been making me pull my hair out. Not that I've got a lot of hair left. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all going at the back there. Um, not that I've got a lot of hair left, but it's, I've been pulling it out for probably almost two months now because I've spent a small fortune on refreshing kit for the channel. So that's like doing stuff for multicams, all new audio gear, um, sort of took all the desk from being two separate desks, a gaming and editing area and put it all into one so we can do streaming. Um, I think I said multicam. Yeah, I said multicam. So a lot of USB audio connectivity devices. And the thing is, it's been like sort of like Christmas in here every week. So there's been new stuff turning up. So I've been mostly setting it up, having a quick little play and going, you know, what? I'll, I'll, I'll iron out that little bug later. And then it would just seem to be one more issue or one more issue to the point that I was going to rebuild my PC last weekend, which I don't like to do very often with the editing rig. Um, I think it's quite a lot with the software. I've got so many different plugins, VSTs, all this sort of stuff that takes a lot longer to set up. I mean, installing Windows and a couple of apps is easy, but like all the settings and everything you got dialed in, that's a that's a whole nother level of weekend that's just gone out the way, isn't it there? And um, so, yeah, I was going to rebuild it. And then I had a little pop up on some of the, uh, you know, ch news channels that I follow um, from websites, had a little pop up saying that AMD admits that there has been a USB issue that there has been an issue with disconnects um, and it's all been a bit random for people but it seems to be you know things that are going to hammer a usb device a little bit more so like hard drives vr headsets capture cards audio interfaces cameras webcams all the stuff that you know i've sort of invested in minus vr still need to get on in that at some point so i don't really have any fixes for you today i'm just going to sort of tell you my struggles um and sort of the new kit that i've bought and how i've been getting on with it um, and then hopefully maybe you might have fixed this issue. I've sort of got it semi working now. It's not perfect by any means and it's not how I want it to be running for the amount of money that I've spent. But, you know, things are going there minus the capture cards. Capture cards has been the most annoying thing and especially when you're trying to record multiple cameras and stuff like that, you know, going into making a video for YouTube. Um, yeah, that's been a little bit painstakingly annoying that's been very painful i'm also using a manual lens today so i really hope that i am in focus that's also new as well it's been a very expensive few months let me just have a little drink of my unicorn glass now the good thing is amd say that they have found a fix for this they say that they found a fix um bioses have just been sent out to um you know early bioses have just been sent out to board manufacturers well fix has been sent out to board manufacturers so they can get us some updated bioses um, and another thing as well, why I know this is the issue that I'm suffering. I know some people might be thinking, you know, oh no, maybe it's this, maybe you've set it up wrong, maybe you've done this. I'm still happy for those suggestions, but I just want to put this out there first. So I cloned my OS drive um, on my AMD rig in front of me here. Um, all I did was just remove a couple of the AMD drivers and motherboard stuff. So like stopping like MSI software starting up on it and plugged it straight into my Intel rig. Didn't install any of the Intel drivers, just let it do that initial Windows startup where it finds the drivers for you. None of the issues, ran it for a few days. None of the issues that I am having has been happening on that rig. So that is making me think that I'm definitely suffering from this issue. And I seem to be suffering from the things that is all of them. I seem to be suffering from all of the problems. So a PC specs first, and I'm using the MSI B550 Tomahawk. I'm not on the latest beta BIOS because I found that one to be the worst. I'm one BIOS back. I'm using 16 gigabytes of 3600 DDR4 memory, clocked in at CL14, I think. I don't know if it's clocked in at CL14 at the moment, but that's what I normally run it at. Um, there is an RTX 3060 Ti. I have NVMe SSDs in both of the slots, but they are both PCIe Gen 3. I haven't bought a Gen 4 one yet. Also as well, the B550 Tomahawk is a little bit skimpy on USBs. I think it only has six and one of them is a USB-C or yeah, four USB 3 ones in total or a couple of 3.1, something like that. And the others are USB 2.0. So I've also got an expansion card as well, bringing me an extra four USBs. So let's just talk about a couple of problems with that motherboard that I've had. It's just, I'm not massively impressed with the Tomahawk. It's the way that they have all the settings in the BIOS for your boosts and your precision boost overdrives and all that stuff. It's not very well laid out. Um, so generally when I reload a new BIOS, I'm like, my boost clocks never seem to go that high. But once I get it set up all right, 
I have got that on now running stock and I get boost to 4.65 gigahertz. So that's pretty decent for a 5600. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, anyway, um, the expansion card. Again, I've tested this out on another system to make sure that it's not just the expansion card. But if I plug any capture cards into it, so whether they're cam links or like the cheap, you know, £10 cam link um, ones that you can get from everywhere now. Um, when I plug those in, it sees that there's an audio device for that in control panel, okay? So it shows that there's an, there's an audio device, not just a video device on that capture card, but it doesn't pass any audio through. It does pass audio through if I plug it into the back of the motherboard. So that's a very odd one there. So that's okay. I just don't plug the cam link into that one because sometimes I like to feed the audio through. We'll get over to audio in a second and the issues that I've been having there. Um, but that's it. That's the system there. Should we get on to, yeah, we'll do audio and then I'll talk about the cameras and the cam links and all that stuff afterwards because that's probably the one that's been doing me in the worst. And I'm really just hoping that this doesn't stop recording. One video I did the other day, I think it crapped out on me about 10 or 15 times, just completely locked up. So moving on to audio gear then. Now, people are reporting that they're having a lot of issues with DACs. I have had a few issues with my DAC. I've got a Topping DX7 Pro. It just seems to be every now and then it's like it sees it connected, but there's no audio coming out. And I mean, I've had that DAC for over a year now and it has been rock solid. Like that thing is an absolute beast. It's a seven, what is it? Like a 600 pound DAC and headphone amplifier. That thing is solid. I'm telling you, I had no issues with that until the last couple of months. So I'm just running out on an optical cable now. Hopefully I'm still, I'm still in focus. Should be, should be roughly in focus anyway. Um, so I'm just running that on an optical cable now and that sorted out those issues. But moving over to the audio side of things. So I treated myself to a Shure SM7B. I also bought myself the Rode VideoMic NTG. We've got this runs into a preamp and then into a voice processor. And then I can run it into an audio interface. So my audio interfaces um, are the Presonus Studio. I think it's the 24 or 26C. Um, um, and I've also got an Audion Evo 4 as well. So that's what I use to run in. I also like to use Voice Meter Potato quite a bit as well. I've got a MIDI controller in front of me here that can control all that. I'm not using that today though. Now there has been weird audio crackling issues and again, similar issues with the top in DAC. So like it shows it's there, but there's just no audio levels whatsoever. And we've actually had some very similar problems with that on some Ryzen the latest Ryzen laptops. Um, so the latest gen, I don't know what that is at work. We've only got a few of them, but I have had a few disconnects on there. Like at my um, work, they use dictation devices and they've been a little bit of an issue as well, but they've not been too bad. The USB interfaces have been all right. The problem has been like crackles and pops and bangs and all that sort of stuff, like crackly music, like every 20 seconds, just like a, you know, things like that or just cutting out and breaking out and to fix that and to fix a few of the other issues as well i've had to drop from gen 4 on my motherboard down to gen 3 which is definitely going to seem like a downgrade to some people but for me i've got gen 3 pcie and even though i think the rtx 3060 ti is a gen 4 graphics card it does not need to be running on gen 4 it's not that powerful like it's a very decent card but it's not saturating pcie gen 3 anytime soon so yeah, that's that's been another little issue that we've had to get around. But the audio issue, I think I've mostly got solved now. But I, I tore my hair out of that because I was checking latencies and timings and all of that stuff. And it was it was really doing my head in because they're all things I'd had set up for ages. Like I'd had voice meter set up for ages. I had the audience set up for ages. And yeah, just weird things going on. And then as well, very selective audio channels. And the way I actually came across quite a few of these problems, like I said, I didn't know about this problem was looking actually into HVENC, uh, when NVIDIA NVENC recording, um, because that's what I like to record in OBS with, that's what I like to stream with, that's what I use for shadow play, and I wanted to test out some of the broadcast features, and that's when I was getting some random lockups and starting to notice it a lot more um, than, than anything else. And, and I was partly thinking, is it encoder overload? You know, all these different little things, and that's where sort of led me down this trail of doing USBs. Um, which brings us over to the last one, then the capture cards and all the camera gear. And do you know what? For years, I've said Elgato is a ripoff and overpriced and there's better alternatives. Um, so in the last month, I've bought the well, last couple of months, I bought two Elgato cam links. I bought a stream deck and I've also got their green screen as well. I just need to get some more light in before I can start using their green screen. But their green screen is awesome. And I actually just got sent a lighting kit a couple, last month. You know, one of these all-in-ones with a green screen that you roll out and all that stuff. I'm telling you, that like the Elgato costs more than that entire kit, but you, there's a reason why people buy those. I would highly recommend that. 
you know, you just pull it up, it's down over here, pull it up, no creases. It's not going to do it because I don't want you drawing random stuff behind me. Um, but yeah, so we've got all that Elgato stuff. The Stream Deck's been fine, actually. I thought that plugs into USB 2.0. USB 2.0 devices haven't really seemed to give me much of a problem. But that's all the Elgato stuff. And then we're doing with the cameras that go into that. So we're using an A6400 here going into a cam link. And I've also been messing around with webcams and action cams that you can use as webcams and some older GoPros as well. For the GoPros, plugging them into those cheap capture cards. I don't know. Got... Oh, let's... I haven't got one. I haven't got one to show you because they're all still plugged into the computer. But yeah, I really want to go multicam. That's something I want to do. The no reason I want to go multicam. Let's say we were actually doing an unboxing of this FearTech Ricker 4K. And then I'm halfway through it and I start talking, waffling on about GoPros. Okay. At least then while you're looking face down at this, we can then get back to my face and, you know, talk about that. So that's why I've been wanting to add all this multi-cam stuff. And I'm using the Stream Deck to switch between the cameras. That's what I've been doing. Probably going to get a Blackmagic Design Atom Mini at some point. Um, but testing all of that out. So have been testing it out with various action cams with the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So then the ones that are going into the capture cards. Doing webcams as well. And Jesus Christ, the level of disconnects and dropping out has been... That has been the most painful bit. Like the audio stuff, it seems to be like a reboot or a restart. It's fine. But this stuff is so random. There is no way knowing or telling how how it is going out now one thing i've done to reduce it a little bit which is like what we're doing today is just use one bloody camera um and the second one as well is to use it on different usb controllers so maybe plug one into the front panel of your computer you generally if you've got a load of usbs on the back of your um motherboard they quite often are on separate controllers so doing all of that and sort of trying to split it all and that's what i've been doing try to load balance in my usbs I think that's the only really thing you can do to try and reduce it but that right now is killing me i mean let's top it all up so the tomahawk motherboard the 5600x the 3060 ti the sure sm7b the road ntg the preamps um the voice processors the cables the stands all of the stuff that goes into it all of the camera stuff getting everything ready for multicam the green screens did i mention all the elgato stuff at tax it's loads of money and it ain't working how it should be but when it is working how it should be i am going to be making loads of videos for you because i don't want to fully evaluate these products um and i don't really want to fully evaluate you know different things um like maybe just do an example with the cam link with different cameras or doing like loads of different action cams as USB cameras. I don't want to fully evaluate that until the problem is fixed. Um, and hopefully the problem will be fixed soon. Um, but that's enough for me today. Enough on the ranting and waffling. But I'm just very interested if any of you guys have been having the same issues. Um, if you have been, please do let me know. Um, I'd be very interested if there's anything that you've done to fix it. Um, and if you want to pick my brains about what I've done anymore, probably best to get me on Discord and we can have a bit of a chat about that as well. Anyway, that's it for me today. Hopefully. There's some audio on this recording.